Yes, fellow fans of Clash of Clans, the magical moment has arrived. The much-awaited update is now live. You guys can hop on your boat and repair it for the ridiculous cost of... Oh, um, free. Okay, so you get to repair your boat. This is, of course, the developer build we're using that I've been playing for a while. Picked up this account just to show you guys that first trip, the magical trip across the water. Oh, it feels good. And there it is. It's called the Builder Base, you guys. Builder Base, that is the Builder's Hall right there. And yes, it is in night mode. Builder Hall level 2 just to start things off. And it's completely different. The game is changing. It's a game within a game. It's a new battle mode. It's a new game mode. It's a new village. It's crazy. And you've got new builders. You've got a master builder right here. And uh, again, now we can't show any of the values from the different upgrades in the developer build. So let's just say the Rage Barbarian goes to level 2 right here. You guys will be able to see that in the game right now. But for now, this being recorded before the actual update goes live, we weren't allowed to show the numbers because, of course, they're always changing. But here we go. So we've got a Raged Barbarian. All of the troops are slightly different. Well, most of the troops are slightly different. And the way you use them, very different. And the way you battle, completely different. It's 1v1, you guys. It's real time attacking against one other player. Much like Clash Royale in that you are battling the same time your opponent is. But he's attacking your base while you attack his. And the idea here is you want to have the better score. Three stars, of course, being perfection. But you just need to beat him either in stars or percentage, yeah. much like in Clan Wars. Mm. One star at 49% is going to beat a zero star at 60%. Yeah. And this is how you get your loot, by doing better than your opponent. If you beat mm. your opponent, then you get the victory bonus trophies. And you'll notice different gold and different elixir. It does not translate from the old game. The gems carry over. But the gold and the elixir does not. You've got to earn it separately to upgrade this base right here. And check out the hint from the master builder. He says, maybe I can visit your home someday. We'll get to that in just a minute. But again, the loot you're earning, you're not stealing from your opponents. You're earning it for winning versus battles. So that was that leaked versus battle information. Right here, we've got a very basic builder's hall too. But as we look around the base... We're going to see some things that we haven't seen before. A battle machine? What the heck? What? Yes, it's true. You guys thought it would never happen. I thought it would never happen. It's a gem mine. It is actually going to mine gems, you guys. That is crazy. So you've got a gem mine that you can repair. You also have a clock tower. This is a hint to that phrase that came out earlier about a village of extreme speed but we will also get to that in just a moment now this is the builders hall 2 and i'm going to go ahead and show what i used as my first defense uh, i can't of course pick up the buildings because that would show the value so through the magic of television of youtube there's my base so i'm centrally locating the cannon i figure at your very basic builders hall 2 that's going to be the item that you want to protect the most. Either that or the town hall. But either way, you're going to want to stop those opponents, get the better score early on. Now, during Builder's Hall 2, before you even go to 3, you will have the opportunity to pick up some additional defenses and upgrade some stuff, including upgrading your Barbarians. Now, again, remember, this is the developer build. That's why I have a crazy amount of gems over there on the right. I plan in future episodes, you guys, to run two accounts. One that I'm going to gem up like crazy so we can see that maxed out content. And the other, I'm going to do organically free to play so I can play alongside you guys in several Let's Play episodes. Now, right here, we got some clouds. That, of course, shouldn't happen as we have millions and millions of players that are beginning to play this builder base right now right this minute in fact what are you doing watching this episode no i'm kidding you can watch the rest uh, and then move on now for the sake of time i have upgraded a couple of structures i bought the double cannon and the archer tower i went out and i found chef pat in a versus battle 
So this is Chef Pat's base. You'll notice that he has used his walls to protect his builder's hall, leaving his defenses around the outside. Now I'm able to drop 12 of these raged barbarians right here at this level. And they do a pretty good job pretty quickly working their way through those defenses. You can see the double cannon is left there on the right hand side. They're getting through the star lab. Now they're going to work their way around the wall after the double cannon. But check out how fast that puppy fires working on those barbs. But we've got three left. They are going to work their way through the gold mine, then through the wall and after the builder's hall to grab me that three star. Now, you guys might have noticed a couple of unusual things right away, like the fact that the walls are different. They're in sections that are longer than the original walls and a lot of other stuff. We're going to go ahead and finish up this attack and see if we can't beat Chef Pat, who, of course, was attacking at the same time. So we can see his progress here on this page. He is already done and he got a 70% two star. We got the three star and we win. You can see again, both of us using the same troops, level four raged barbarians. You can upgrade those troops two levels for each builder's hall. So again, at builder hall two, we've got level four raged barbarians. We click on replay and now we can go back in and see a replay of chief chef Pat's attack, sorry. Chef Pat's attack, you can see with my base, I centered the defenses using those outer buildings to protect the defenses rather than the builder's hall. And it's going to pay off the barbarians just not enough to get through all of those defenses. And I managed to grab the win. And again, that's how you earn loot to upgrade your buildings in the new builder base. Now, right here, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward in time to Builders Hall 5 so you can see some of the new stuff. If you'd rather see it for yourself and not see it, now's the time to look away. Don't do it. These are spoilers right here as we fast forward to Builder Hall 5. Now, this is the battle machine. He is the hero at the builder base. That is the master builder inside the battle machine. Super cool, you guys. When he gets to level five, he has an ability of his own. We've got the gem mine right here. It's been rebuilt. That is a level one gem mine. And yes, indeed, it does produce gems. Here is the level five gem mine at Builder Hall 5. Now, the interesting thing about this gem mine, I will tell you guys, is that you cannot steal gems. Again, you're not stealing your opponent's resources. So you can't take gems from the gem mine. They are yours to keep, but it's probably a good idea to show up every so often and collect them. You don't want them to overflow. All right, moving on. Here is the clock tower. Super cool. And yes, it is the source of extreme speed. Once you click on that clock tower, it gives you a boost. It boosts the entire village every so often. And yes, now it is truly of extreme speed. Everybody moving more quickly, troops being produced more quickly, resources as well. Here is the crusher. This is a futuristic looking device and it is a extremely short range, extremely high damage defense. Very cool. The crusher right here at Builders Hall 5 is upgradable to level 5. And again, so many cool and different defenses in this builder's base. Right here, we've got the multi-mortar. So it looks a lot like a mortar, except it fires four mortar shells or balls, as Power Bang and I like to call them. The multi-mortar, a very cool device also. Then this one, you don't have a clan castle in the builder base, but you do have this. Yes, it's the guard post, and it functions a lot like a clan castle does. The units in there, as you upgrade it, you will have more units in there, and they will come to the defense of your builder base the best they can. All right, moving on, we've got some more new structures, some different things here. This is air bombs. Now, you might think this looks like it's not that powerful. It's actually really powerful because it keeps spewing out air bombs. And now what used to be the air defense is called firecrackers over here. And they're not so powerful. They're not M80s. Those are more like little handheld bottle rockets. Definitely the air bombs, way more powerful, at least last time I played it. Then you've got this right here, adjustable between ground and air. You've got the mine, very cool. And of course the mega mine, get one of those puppies. It takes two chains in order to get that mega mine to stand still, get it? 
that, that's probably a pretty obscure reference. All right, moving on. One of my favorite new items that is right here, the push trap, not a spring trap, mind you. It does not flip those units off the battlefield, but only sends them to a different location. You can see the X there. This is ideal for sending those units closer to a powerful defense so you can smash them. And speaking of units, let's take a look. Some familiar faces with slightly new appearances. The Raged Barbarian. We've got a Sneaky Archer. Boxer Giants. Bombers looking pretty much the same. Beta Minions, you guys. Of course, Baby Dragons. And very cool, my favorite, Cannon Carts. Now get ready, you guys. In future Builders Halls, we will see Drop Ships. That's the Builders Hall version of the Balloon. Then... The Night Witch, yes, that's right, it's in Clash Royale soon, it's in Clash of Clans as well. And then my favorite, Super P.E.K.K.A., not the Mega P.E.K.K.A., but the Super P.E.K.K.A. coming to the Clash of Clans Builder Base. Right here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the five levels of walls available at Builder Hall 5. Again, you guys, I'm sorry for jumping around, but I wanted to try to get all of this in just so you guys can have the spoilers if you wanted to see what is coming between now and Builder Hall 5. For those of you that saw the gear icon suspiciously on a cannon a few days ago, the source is right here. The new Builder's Hall base is going to allow you to have a Builder boat. And with that Builder boat, as it says right here, the Master Builder can visit your village and give your buildings special enhancements. So let's go ahead and pop back over to this again. Developer Build Town Hall 11. Check out this cannon and we will see that we can gear it up. We can now gear up the cannon, hiding the amount because it wasn't set yet. There it is. My level 14 geared up cannon now has the ability to switch between normal and burst mode. Burst providing higher damage, but in a smaller radius. So that right there, super exciting change coming to your home village in Clash of Clans. Now traveling back to the builder base, check out the Archer Tower. This is a fully upgraded Builder Hall 5 base. The Archer Tower is also going to have a toggle like that, that you can adjust it between short range and long range. Much like the cannon at the short range setting, it does more DPS, but covers a smaller area. All right, next up, we're going to take a look at a battle at Builder Hall 5. And first things first, we've got the battle machine available here. He's level 5, so he has that ability. But also, look at the fact that we can switch out armies. After you've looked at your opponent's base, you will be given a minute to prepare and you can change out the troops. So I really love this. This is going to allow players to alter their strategies based upon the base that they're facing. All right, so I just wanted to show a couple of things here. You can see the guard post units are being activated, but check out on the right-hand side as the units move their way in through that wall, the crusher, very short range, but once it's activated, it provides a great deal of DPS. So maybe that's where you want to get your push traps, sending units in to land next to the crusher. The multi-mortar as well, doing a lot of damage from a pretty great distance. And then last but not least, watch for those air bombs. The baby dragon there is working its way through the firecrackers, but as it gets closer, watch out for the air bombs. There they go, and notice, yes, they're coming out of the ground endlessly. As long as that structure is up, air bombs are going to be coming, just pouring out of there and decimating air units. So this attack is just about over, but the Builder's Hall is just beginning, you guys. Let me know, this is where you guys come in. I'm going to be collaborating with other content creators, working with master base designers, expert attackers. I want to bring you guys the educational, entertaining, and informative videos that will help you with your brand new Builder base. So get down there in the comments, you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see from future episodes from this channel. I truly appreciate you guys, and I realize you helped build this channel to where it is today, and I want to continue that partnership. So again, let me know what you want to see. Thank you for being the true hashtag Galafam. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Check me out live streaming the new base on Beam.pro. And of course, remember, in life, as in Clash of Clans, always give it your all. Always make every attack a full attack. Galley Don, another game for me to win, not a problem.